Hi folks, uh, welcome back. We're just going to take a few moments here to share with you something I found that worked really well and you may want to try it. Um, if, if, if you do, fine. If you don't, that's also fine. If I find something that is can be helpful to you um, tool-wise or whatever, I usually try to share it with you so that you know you can also, if you want to try it, you can. This is a little box I bought at Hobby Lobby out in Michigan. Um, in the Canton area out there and um, this is item number six uh, four six zero fifty nine and this particular box I found for a dollar ninety nine and I looked at that box and thought you know some I could put some of my little micro tools into that that probably would fit I didn't have one with me well lo and behold I got home today and I bought another, I bought two sets. I bought one of the parting tool and one of the, well, parting tool yesterday from Don. And I bought the other one, um, oh, probably six weeks ago. And I didn't have any nice thing to put them in. But this is perfect. They fit nicely in this. See? Now, the only problem with this box, it has two of these little, little pieces of wood. One going on this side and one over here that when you shut the box, they're flush together. I guess the nothing rolls from one compartment to the other if you're flipping it over. When I went to cut this out, I, I didn't do this on purpose, but I left a little bit of a ridge seeing if it just would fit. And um, they all the two sets fit in here perfectly. They will keep it from clinking with each other. Um, maybe, you know, nicking, their, nicking the, um, the end of the blade there. And um, I found this to be very useful and I left this bar alone because when I go to shut it they're not just going to roll all over the place when I turn it upside down or whatever and I can just open them up and they're ready to ready to go. Now this one's a little bit long I need to cut a little piece out at the corner here a little gouge so it would just fit perfectly in there. Um, the larger one's just a tad long or I could even maybe cut a little bit with a bandsaw uh, the very end uh, of it, maybe an eighth of an inch, and it would fit in there very, very nicely. So if you're interested in the dockyard stuff, um, I found them very handy, um, you know, and I, I'm going to be using them a little bit more. I'm strictly a knife carver, but when times like when this came up and I was trying to get in between certain areas, you can do it with a knife, but it just cleaned it up so nice to use a little round gouge to go in there. And uh, so this is my kind of tip of the day for wood carvers. If you can find this box, I don't know if out here in PA we have uh, Ace, AC Moore, I'm sorry, AC Moore uh, as a hobby shop uh, or craft shop and also um, Michael's. Uh, I have one about 10 miles away from here. There's both stores that are in the same town um, in, in Exton. Um, this one here, um, I don't know about Hobby Lobby if they're out in the west I don't know um, but anyway just something to tell you about I'll give you the dimensions of the box so if you don't find exactly uh, if you find boxes it should be about four and a half inches by almost six inches by I think in an inch and a quarter okay so um, if you're looking for a box that's what's going to fit those little micro tools very handy and it has a little latch there I can just push down if that wears out you can always add a little latch on but I've never really had any of these wear out on me okay that's it and it's kind of simple but it's effective all right bye bye folks